Hello coloring friends! So today I want to show you all my completed coloring pages since the month of December. Yes, it turned out that I haven't filmed such videos since December. I thought maybe four months uh, have passed, but when I checked, no, more than half a year. So it's it's surprisingly how quick time passes when I started choosing uh, the illustrations uh, for this video and I look at some of them and I think it seems like I colored, colored them so recently but no, a couple of months uh, so I thought uh, I can't wait any longer <laughs> I need to show you all these works <coughs> uh, some of them are uh, really very simple uh, some are more complicated, uh, some I do love how they turn out, others I'm not that happy. Um, but it was interesting to see all my works in one um, heap, <laughs> so to say. And I hope it's going to be interesting for you, even for those who have already seen uh, these uh, works in other videos. Okay, let me start. And I will start from printed illustrations. Not that many this time. Um, let me start from this one. Obviously, this one I colored um, during Christmas time. Uh, this is illustration by Ria. Um, a girl with uh, Christmas balls. Balls are especially like how they turn out on this illustration. Um, I remember accidentally I printed the darkest version of this picture and then it was really hard to cover all those grays. Uh, but it turned out not so bad. Uh, next one is recent illustration by Vishan Ong uh, for the prompt spider. I used markers and pencils for this picture. Um, exactly for this picture I, I didn't have any color palette in my head. I just <laughs> picked any color and started coloring and kept choosing them like this and I like how it turned out. Still it looks uh, to my taste very bright, colorful, just the way I like. Uh, another recent illustration, Alice with Flamingo. Same illustrator, Vishan Ong. Uh, same media, markers and pencils. And same brightness. <laughs> And third illustration by Vishan Ong, uh, Blue Angel. Mm. I love her illustrations. They are not uh, that hard to color, uh, but they turn out really beautiful. And they have quite enough amount of uh, details. And sometimes backgrounds are black, so you don't have to think anything. Uh, this illustration by Barbara Sabzinska from her book Koti, Cats, and this uh, Just Married Cats. It was fun. <laughs> I love coloring cats. Uh, this one by um, Donna Deville, uh, Mother Earth. I remember I had problem with coloring this fire. <laughs> I used pencils at first, then gouache, then acrylic. So many medias. I love how trees uh, turn out here. Uh, it creates some special atmosphere. Uh, this one by Any Coloring, a pretty girl love this color combination, bright, contrasting and my favorite colors. Love her, how her eyes looks very dolly-like, 
<laughs> and the last printed illustration is by Matt Davidson, Beauty and the Beast. I like the Beast, I like his version of Beast, uh, quite handsome. And the beauty, of course, she's a beauty, so she looks beautiful. <laughs> It was PDF illustrations and now let me start to show you the books. Uh, the first one, Mandala's um, <clears throat> Color by Number. I use, I'm using this book for finishing my old gel pens. I actually have finished them. That's the last Mandala I have colored. It looks a bit weird. I mean, um, <laughs> color palette, but um, these colors was, were left and uh, I had to use them, so it looks a bit weird, <laughs> but still not so bad. And I'm done with my old gel pens. And also for this, my personal challenge with gel pens, I colored this one. Then it's color by number, but I color uh, them all in my own style. Uh, another one in oriental style. And this one also in oriental style. And one more I colored in another book. Uh, so it took me five mandalas to finish uh, that many uh, old gel pens. <coughs> Uh, next comes Metamorphose by Amelie Bernatan. <coughs> a simple book, uh, I mean, a si rather simple illustrations by uh, Weird and Cool. I love them. And this is a camel with Emerald City. And another one is this old man. A landscape style old man. They are cool these pictures. <laughs> they are simple to color but they are fun. Uh, Goats and Beasts, Adam Fisher. I have one whip in this book. Um, at first I wanted to finish my two left whips and then to make this video but then I thought no not enough time so and I couldn't wait any longer so and the one that I have colored in this book is this Metusa Gargona it was also one of my whips I was tired of all of these uh, snakes by the way I remind you and um, for those who haven't heard uh, about this uh, during whole summer there is a summer project on my channel um, on coloring Medusa Gorgona you can color any Medusa from any book by any illustrator and uh, send me by the end of summer and you can even use um, illustrations that you have colored uh, before um, so next uh, illustration from the Magical Unicorn Society, another winter illustration, uh, very simple but again it was fun especially using all the stickles here and there. It really creates wintry atmosphere, I like it. In illustrations of such type, no much coloring actually here, right? But it was so much fun with all this embellishment. <laughs> Next up, Slavic Motifs coloring book. What I have colored here? Oh, this is one. This one I had colored before. Then I tried to use a kind of similar colors, coordinated. Mm -hmm. 
another book mystic creature and here I colored this uh, double spread though they were like separate illustrations but I decided that they look very much similar so I did it as a double spread used tombows here and I colored it during my post-covid uh, period when I was too weak to color anything more complicated but I like it turned out rather bright <laughs> what next yeah and this rabbit from Alice again bright colorful just the way I like it uh, next book Wing Beauty and uh, the illustrator for this uh, Stephanie Law I colored this dragonfly page it doesn't look um, it lacks contrast but that's because I used only pastel colors I was um, uh, using my new set of uh, pencils by Castle Arts and I decided to use only pencils from that set and since the colors are pastel so um, there is lack of contrast of darker colors but I decided to leave it like this there is something in it too only pastel colors Uh, Magic Gate Taro coloring book by Vera Petruk. I did one picture here. High Priestess. Again, use markers here. I remember I hated this frame. <laughs> it's okay if I need to color it one time, but when you look at all other pictures, same kind of frame and it really kills my desire to color this book i like what is it what is inside but i hate this frame and they can't leave it uncolored it would look stupid <laughs> so i will have to deal with it i guess next one owls by marjorie sarnat and I did this um, page and I remember I didn't like it I mean I started coloring it and then I lost interest and it was so slow and oh, but I finished it <laughs> and I don't like it I mean it's okay but I don't know other pictures from this book there was no such problem I enjoyed coloring even one of the recent really enjoyed that one but with this picture don't know <laughs> something happened then circle of life by Milpomeni here I colored two pictures and one is this one and I think this one is one of my favorites um, for this period of time uh, Black Swan it turned out just the way as I imagined black with a pink kind of glow and then this turquoise color everything looks so pretty together and another one is this. this mandala type picture with snakes uh, this one it's okay a new book by Milpomeni nature mandalas I have started it recently and I did only one illustration this maze used only markers and I love how markers behave on this paper in this book we have one-sided pictures uh, 
The Secret Lagoon by Poppy Appleby. Simple illustrations. Color this dragonfly for the prompt of dragonflies. And then I color this mandala again um, for finishing my old gel pens. This one rather, rather uh, simple. Another nature mandala book by Cynthia Emerly. And here I color these bumblebees. A little bit of spark on their wings. No, you can't see it, I think. Uh, Jason Momoa by um, Maurizio Campidelli, one of my recent works, um, uh, Jason at Dawn, again used my new coloring pencils here by Brewster, and to cover ugly clouds here I used gouache and acrylic. Another book by Maurizio Campidelli, Keanu Reeves this time. It was one of my untouched book, books and um, I started it and colored two illustrations. I kind of like it. <laughs> the first one is this, um, Camping Keanu. I really love how it turned out. everything with pencils and a little bit of graphite tint and another one is really cute one piano with kittens then coloring heaven collection costume uh, illustrations by Fabiana Trere. It was one of my untouched books as well. And finally, I started coloring in it and I did this Mongolian girl in this beautiful traditional outfit. I love her hairstyle with all these um, stones decorated clips in her hair, these beads, ornaments really enjoyed coloring it. Uh, next we have Zemlya Snova by Tomislav Tomic. Uh, now when I'm looking at all these books uh, that I have colored during this time and I'm thinking I did used many different books but then I realized how many I haven't used. <laughs> Uh, it's impossible when you have so many books, even those that you really love, you can't color in all of them at the same time. Such a pity. So, what I have colored here, uh, this deer with pink clouds and this very beautiful blue sky. Enchanted Forest, Joanna Besford, and here I colored this cute frog, groom frog. I decided that he's a groom, and so I added him this head and the bow, and I love how he looks now. <laughs> so cute. It was fun. Again, it was some time that I haven't colored in Joanna's book, so it was a ni nice change. It was really uh, pleasant to come back to Joanna. Another book, uh, Mademoiselle Cats, 
and here are these double spread. This is a ginger band. <laughs> here I use gouache. Uh, the gouache by Brewster. I really love it. It um, works really nicely. Bright colors. No sticky after drying. And I use some ooh, sparkle here. It was really fun. I had to change their faces a little bit here and there and use only different hints of um, red, uh, orange, I would say no red, ginger red, ginger orange, red orange, okra, because it's ginger band. <laughs> it was really fun. Uh, then bestiary of Tolkien and here I colored this portrait of an old woman. It was uh, first time I used uh, pencils on this paper in this book because before surprisingly I used watercolors because I don't use watercolors that often but on these two illustrations I used watercolors. So here it was first time I used colored pencils. Not so bad. It was for the prompt old woman. It was interesting experience with all these wrinkles. And skin tone again it's a bit different uh, from uh, young skin coloring. Uh, next, uh, Anastasia Ellie Coldreva, Blackbird Song, one of my new books. I have started it recently and I think it's one of my favorites, another favorite of mine for this period of time. Uh, this um, shell headdress girl, really love how bright that shell turned out, that's what I wanted. And I love her skin as well. And another illustration by Anastasia uh, from Mysteria this time. And I colored this one. I believe this one also one of my favorites. Third one. At first I remember I... Um, I did her hair in different color, some, something like blonde, and I didn't like it. And then I changed it on this uh, purplish hair, and now I do love it. And love this um, sparkle on water. And fish, I like how it looks. Well, one of my favorites, definitely. <laughs> Uh, then the next book is Moon Blossoms by Katrina Palon. I did two illustrations in this book. I believe another one, one of my favorites, the fourth one, this Vietnamese bride. Love all the colors and love the illustration itself. Love this bright red color, her dress. This uh, red is uh, Dorvent Lightfast. I love their reds. And another one is this Thai woman with umbrella. It also looks nice and pretty, uh, but I would not call it one of my favorites. It's just okay. <laughs> Uh, next picture from Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. I do color in Hannah's books uh, that often, but this time after the news about her illness uh, appeared in social media and everyone started coloring to support her, I decided I, I will color something too. And I colored this cute dog. 
not that I often color animals, especially animals portrait, uh, but it was really fun. And I love how this dog turned out at the end, rather realistic. <laughs> and so cute there was some problem with background i remember then i had to fix it and then i added this writing get well soon for hannah googly leaf fine find color and the illustration i colored here is this uh, whale in rather not typical color for whales <laughs> but I wanted him like this use pencil here different and watercolor pencil for the background it worked really nice it looks pretty yeah but I was surprised to get uh, so many likes in Instagram for this illustration because I thought it's rather simple <laughs> And as you can see, I again I used the colors kind of to be in harmony with colors on this page, and it looks uh, this double spread looks nice now. And so that was the last illustration from what I have colored since December and till till now. So I hope it was interesting for you, you like my works, you can write what is your favorite uh, illustration uh, that I have colored. It's always interesting uh, to know. And that was all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.